Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this lecture. Today uh, we'll learn how you can get started with the Google Earth Engine Python API and Google Colab. Um, so um, when we are done with this tutorial, um, you'll be able to write your first Python code using Earth Engine Python API and Colab. And you'll be able to generate a true color um, composite, a satellite image. As you can see here, this is a Landsat satellite image. Uh, and also a false color composite uh, satellite image. Um, so you'll be able to import um, and um, uh, generate this map uh, using the Python API, the Earth Engine Python API. Um, so, um, you know, let's get started. So. Um, before we get started, uh, if you're new to Earth Engine, so Earth Engine is um, a planetary scale um, um, platform, a cloud computing environment, uh, which is free for scientific and educational um, analysis. Uh, and you can request access uh, for non commercial uh, purpose by clicking here um, earthengine.google.com uh, and also sign up here. Uh, most likely you'll get uh, access in, in, in the next 24 hours. Um, and once you have access to that, um, so Earth Engine hosts a variety of uh, uh, data set, which includes satellite data and geospatial data, uh, including land cover, digital elevation model and crop type and night, type, um, night light data, and also some uh, climate data. Uh, and so you'll have you know, access uh, using an API to all of this data once you have uh, access to Earth Engine. So to start with Earth Engine, Earth Engine has two um, APIs. The first one is the JavaScript API, as you can see here, and the other one is the Python API. So to start with the, the JavaScript API, you just go to Platform and uh, Code Editor. So if you go to Code Editor, so the Code Editor is the JavaScript version of the, the Earth Engine API. Um, you can write uh, code here and um, you can visualize your analysis results over here and also monitor your, your uh, code uh, over here. For example, if we write our first JavaScript API just to test the system, print um, hello world, um, as it is um, the first thing that you write in any programming language and we you know execute this program um, by clicking the um, run here so we have our uh, hello world uh, printed over here we can see that here so this is just uh, the playground or uh, the api um, uh, code editor uh, for the javascript version but for today's um, uh, tutorial we're focusing on the python api um, over here. So uh, the Python API has a Jupyter um, as well as a Colab environment. So today we'll focus on the Colab environment. So uh, before we get started to the Earth Engine uh, Python API and Colab, uh, if you're new to Colab, um, so Colab is something like a Jupyter notebook. If you're aware of uh, or familiar with Jupyter notebook, it's, uh, it's a code editor for Python and um, you know, an ID uh, for, for, for Python and uh, other, other programming language hosted by Google. So to create a new Colab environment, you create, uh, you go to your uh, Google Drive and uh, create um, Google Collaboratory here. So you'll create a new, um, a new uh, it's like a new Jupyter notebook, right? Uh, you create um, this, this um, ID environment. You don't have to download or install anything on your machine. It's hosted by Google, so it's it's uh, um, you run things on the cloud without install um, without downloading any any of that. Um, so to test our, our first uh, um, um, collab platform, let's print hello world and let's print that. Perfect. So our uh, first hello world uh, string is printed. So we have tested the, 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 the first uh, collab environment. Um, so collab is um, you can run collab, uh, you know, any uh, data science um, um, code, um, even non Earth Engine code. But 
in this situation or in this example, we'll be using Collab for running the Earth Engine Python API, okay? So to get started, uh, so the first thing is to install Earth Engine. Uh, I would create just this cells. Um, this is like um, a Jupyter Notebook cell, right? And so I'll install um, Earth Engine by running this code, um, pip install, um, gmap. Uh, gmap has Earth Engine as well as uh, other mapping package. So I'll go ahead and execute that so uh, now it's installing um, the earth engine um, uh, api here in the collab environment and i'll wait uh, until uh, installation um, is complete so when you do it for the first time this is how you do it but once you install then you have to simply import the earth engine library every time you run a code okay so it's installing over here and let's just wait a little bit. All right, so our installation is complete. And next thing is there's some error. It's, you know, you, do, you have to disregard that. It's, it's not critical. Uh, it's just um, some dependencies. Uh, and the next thing is import import earth engine right or just libraries okay so next um, i'll import ee that will in import earth engine and also import a ge map for some mapping and visualization um, on the python uh, environment so i'll go ahead and import uh, click this uh you know uh function to import the ee um, the earth engine library and because it's your first time, you need to also authenticate uh, Earth Engine, authenticate and initialize. Okay, so to do that, I'll use the e authenticate and also e, -E initialize. Okay. This too will um, authenticate our Earth Engine account and initialize Earth Engine so that we can start analyzing, our, you know, Earth observation data. So you click this link and go ahead and you know authenticate your um, your um, your account here uh, and continue here and then just uh, continue. Actually, I need to uh, click uh, this and copy that. And then paste it here in this uh, box and then successfully authorize token. Perfect. So next thing is to actually uh, create a map and GEE map that will uh, generate a map canvas so that we can, it's not loading because you have to call map, okay? And then call that map to have a map over here, okay? So now we can display a map canvas here so that we can, you know, look at um, or visualize our analysis um, here. Uh, and so next step is just, uh, I've already uh, written the script. I'll, I'll copy and paste from my other window. Uh, and um, okay. And so the next thing is to actually um, load uh, countries database here. So countries database, um, usually um, because when you're dealing with uh, large Earth observation data, uh, such as the Landsat data, it's a global data. So you need to uh, filter it by, you know, some smaller st study regions so that your analysis won't um, take much time when running, okay? And then, so in this case, I'll, um, import the country's database and I'll subset to a specific country, small country here, Swaziland in Southern Africa. And here I'll import the Landsat image collection here, it's, um, which is Landsat 8 here, collection one and tier one. And also um, one year of data here, 2016, and subset it by region of interest here. And next is I'll run a cloud masking algorithm here. This is 
um, uh, Earth Engine based um, uh, function that runs um, uh, cloud free image. Um, so this composite will give you a cloud free image and I'll call that image here to map and I'll create a two uh, image. The first one uh, visualization. The first one is a true color composite which uses uh, usually the standard RGB, uh, red, um, green, blue combination. And the other one is a false color composite, which uses the near infrared band as well for a false color composite. And I'll also add, you know, the map, um, um, I'll use the map add layer function on the Earth Engine API. And also um, call this cloud free image and clip it by my steady region here, ROI and provide um, the color parameter here. In this case, I'll provide the true color um, visualization I've created already. And in the second one, I'll give it a near infrared visualization, which is a false color composite here. And then I'll uh, create a map center object to adjust the zoom level uh, so that um, my map here will zoom into the specific study area that I'm interested. So I'll go ahead and execute all of this so that I'll create my uh, Landsat based uh, map composite here. It's loading here. So now it's uh, loading the false color composite. I'll go ahead and click here and, uh, you know, uh, switch between the true color and the false color composite. As you can see here, this is the true color uh, cloud free Landsat 8 satellite image. Um, you can also, you know, change the to a false color composite. As you can see here, some of the agriculture area here um, highlighted in red in the false color composite. If you can change it to the true color composite, you can see all the agriculture area here. And so that's how you, um, you know, um, write your first um, Earth Engine Python API code uh, and get started with Collab uh, and Google Earth Engine. Um, and um, um, import a satellite data, in this case Landsat uh, satellite image, and generate um, a true and false color composite.